When I uh, bought this lathe, uh, the CQ 9325, it, um, it came with a travelling steady, but it never came with a fixed steady. And uh, for a job like this, where I want to uh, face off the end of this 42mm diameter uh, solid round um, stock, you really need a, uh, a fixed steady because there's too much overhang on the jaws to, of the chuck to, to do it safely. And uh, as I said, um, no fixed steady with this lathe when I got it. And the ones you get with them generally are often uh, small capacity and, and a bit useless. Um, so I thought, well, I'll uh, make my own. So quite a few years ago I made one and uh, Here's the one here that I made. Um, it's made out of scrap, out of my scrap bin, and basically it's, uh, as you can see, it's big diameter. We'll take good sized stuff. Three adjusting bolts with uh, bronzed on tips, so that's hard bronze brazed on. And I've got lock nuts. And here's the block. Uh, just bolts up from the top, so it's a threaded block, and it's got a rolled pin in it so that it can't twist uh, when you're tightening it up. So basically you just uh, fit it on and uh, do up the bolt. On the other side it's just a bolt up set up. The whole thing's good and robust. Everything's bronze that has to be. So there she is and uh, I'll put on the lathe and uh, you can see it in action. It's not something I use very often, but it is a, a handy device, so um, stay tuned. Right, well now we'll fire up and we'll place off the steel. I could spin it a bit faster, but uh, you don't have to go that fast for this operation. Using a carbide uh, Facing cutter. And she's working beautiful. There you go, if you want to make yourself up a uh, big steady, this one uh, works pretty well. So, uh, bold up design and uh, it uh, can handle big stuff very nicely. Put a bit of oil up here on the uh, on the shaft where it's turning. The hard bronze facing uh, on the end of the bolt stops them from uh, wearing. Um, the steel will wear out before the bronze does. And you can see, you know, it makes uh, jobs like this a piece of cake. Otherwise, you'd be uh, in a bit of strife. Uh, I mean, a bit more. Good solid unit, no movement whatsoever in this, and uh, and they're easy to make really, there's nothing to them. And uh, I mean, you can go out to the full diameter of that thing, I'll only do a heavy, heavy cut on it here. So it can take, uh, oh, I don't know, about 100 mils quite easy. So yeah, when you're working on big stuff like this, uh, you have to be able to face up the end so that you can uh, uh, centre bore them, get it cleaned up so you get a nice square face. Um, I mean, you, you can get by without doing it, but it's best if you do face them off, and that way you can uh, get everything nice and accurate. So there we go, job done. This is finished for now. Now for the next phase, which will be the centre ball that now, so there you go. Uh, homemade fixed steady. Um, yeah, easy to make and they work really good. So there you go folks, catch you next time.